Tonight, a group of former NHL players living in Minnesota is receiving a lot of praise for their work to get AEDs in more hockey arenas. Last month, one of their devices saved a man's life in Anoka. That's where our Bab Santos is now with that story. Babs? Yeah, Amy and Kelsey, people here believe this may have been the first time one of these donated devices saved a life. He was clinically dead. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Anoka's hockey community remains shocked after a near-death experience on the ice in late January. He kind of collapsed. 20 minutes into a Sunday pickup hockey game, things turned quickly for Hayden Caesar's teammate sitting there right next to him on the bench. The older man had gone into cardiac arrest. He was stuck, just kind of hunched over like this. No response at all. After CPR and with this AED, the man was resuscitated and is now recovering. He doesn't remember anything, but he was, he was talking and stuff. It was traumatic, it was horrifying to watch their friend die, yet they fought through that fear. But the person maybe most responsible on that day wasn't even in the building. I got teary-eyed because it, it, was a, it was a goal, and to see it come to fruition that uh, you know, it, it saved someone's life. Jack Carlson is now the president of the Minnesota NHL Alumni Association, but he gives all the credit to his dear friend, former president Brad Maxwell, who spent more than a decade raising money to buy dozens of AEDs, about two grand apiece, now installed in hockey arenas across the state. Tragically, Brad didn't live to see this miracle in Anoka, dying last fall after a battle with lung cancer. But even after his own passing, this man with a big heart continues to save others. And I ended up uh, getting a hold of Brad's wife, Lori, and telling her about it. And, uh, you know, we were all just kind of tickled that his, his legacy is still uh, uh, going on. Now, the work to get these AEDs into hockey arenas did slow down during the pandemic, but now Maxwell's loved ones say they want to pick back up where they left off and now to do so in his honor. Live in Anoka tonight, Bab Santos, Fox 9. What a legacy. Thank you, Babs.